think I'd be more prepared. You would think, but I'm not. Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So today I have a ton of new things that I want to show you guys from beauty all the way to clothing, shoes, purses, we're hitting it all. So if you're interested to see what I have recently purchased over the past couple months, then please keep watching. Let's hope that intro was good because I did it like 5,000 times. It's fine. So the first thing I want to talk about are the things that I purchased at Sephora from the Rouge 20% off sale. So this sale went from April 26th for Rouge members all the way to May 6th, I believe, for everyone across the board, um, whether you are Rouge, a VIB, or just a beauty insider. So when it comes to this sale, I definitely like to purchase most of my skincare if I need um, to replenish anything or if I want to try something new just because most of my skincare are on the higher price point so I like to get that little 20% off I feel like it cushions cushions the fall a little when you see that total so we are gonna dive into what I purchased so I have the bag next to me I got the big boy it was actually like fit the price you know you'll usually get the tiny bag and it's like oh this is three hundred dollars so the first thing i want to get into is the glow recipe watermelon sleeping mask so i've talked about this before i did decide to like hawk open it just because it wasn't opening and i wanted to see how it looked um just because i had only tried a sample size before so it does come with a clear spatula obviously um, there you go. You can kind of see it, not really. That's because it is clear. And then this is the product itself. I loved this mask so much when I tried it the first time when I had the little sample. Absolutely loved it. It smells so good. So I know this does come in two sizes. I did purchase the bigger size, which is 2.7 fluid ounces. A little of this product really goes a long way, so I know that this is gonna last me a while. I'm not sure what the other size is. I wanna say it's, it has to be around like an ounce or so. So if you're interested in getting that, but you don't want to spend $40 on the big one, I believe the small one is 20. So the next item I purchased is going to be, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Sly? Sly. Anyways, Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser by Drunk Elephant. I was super excited to try this um, just because I love that it's a cleansing balm and also a cleanser all in one. So it's not really a two-step process. It can just be one and done. So I have used this. I did just put it back into the box for the video. So it has a spatula that has a magnet on the back. So it sticks right onto the lid. So on the inside, this is how it looks. It's definitely more of like a hard oil consistency, just like you would think of like a balm. It kind of has the same consistency or does the same thing as like coconut oil, so it like warms up in your hands. And then it also came with the Bamboo Booster, which is used as an exfoliator. So you're supposed to take a little of the balm out sprinkle a little of this in and it's going to exfoliate your skin so you would do that one to two times a week depending on your skin type just like you would normally exfoliate i've absolutely loved this so much it's left my skin insanely soft and supple i'm just a huge fan of drunk elephant products so i'm I'm on board with anything they come out with, but I definitely love this and it makes cleansing my face because I do get lazy when I'm extremely tired. I just want to go straight to bed. It makes it extremely easy for me to just do one step, throw on my moisturizers, and hit the bed. So the next item that I purchased, which is actually a repurchase, is the Proteiny polypeptide cream by drunk elephant this is one of my favorite moisturizers i really love this one for the summer because i feel like it's more lightweight and more oily when it is warmer out so i feel like it just kind of balances me without making me feel too heavy so this is how this product comes 
The top comes off. It has a button down top that disperses the product right here for you so you can just wipe. And if you want to disinfect the top, you can as well. Um, I've had about three of these before. I absolutely love them. Um, it's something I probably will definitely continue to repurchase once I find something that fits my skin because I am super sensitive. I tend to stay really loyal to it. So in this one, it has 1.69 fluid ounces. And I would say it definitely lasts me, I would say about two months, which is fair for using it every day. Um, I definitely, the first time I used it, had to cut down on how much I would pump out. I, I would pump way too much out and then it would just, just wasting product at that point. So one pump will do, put it on your face and you're good to go. So if you know me, this will not be a surprise on what I repurchase, and that is going to be my Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I go through about one of these a month, so it was nice to have, you know, a month where I got 20% off. But I am so devoted to this moisturizer. If you have not tried it, please try it. I get so many compliments on the smell of it when I put it on after I get out of the shower. Everyone always asks me, like, oh my god, you smell so good. What do you use? I'm using Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Um, I know this one has a salted caramel scent to it. And then the other one that I've used, which is the teal one, I can't think of the name. That one has more of a coconut scent. And that one's really nice too. I just like how this one is on my skin. Got little like stacks everywhere. So the next thing I purchased, which is also a repurchase, is the Sunday Riley UFO Acne Treatment Face Oil. Um, this is the 0.5 fluid ounces. This has lasted me a whole year. I've talked about this on my channel before. Um, my other one's not even fully out, and I know I did purchase it last time. The 20% sale off it was happening during spring. I hope that sentence made sense. But I absolutely love this product so much. It does wonders for my skin. I use it whenever I have a breakout. I've been breaking out more because the seasons are changing. Um, so I just put a little dab on those places and it just helps dry it out and helps the swelling kind of reduce as well. So if you have issues with any kind of acne or problematic skin, I highly recommend this product. The next product I purchased was new to my lineup. I've seen a ton of influencers um, collab with this brand, and I definitely wanted to give it a try. So this is the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. So here's the carton for that. I also like <laughs> ripped this box open. So here's the eye cream itself. This has 0.5 fluid ounces in it as well, but for an eye cream, I feel like that's a decent amount because you're just using so little and just placing it in one area. I love how this feels and how it makes my eyes feel, especially in the morning. Sometimes I have trouble with like any kind of eye serum or cream that when I wake up, I feel very crusty if that makes sense i just feel like i need to just go wipe a layer off of my eye to where this one i really feel like it penetrates into my skin and helps me feel more hydrated and less goopy in the morning honestly i don't even know how else to say it so this product was 38 dollars. i definitely think it is well worth it i love it so much and i can't wait to see what it does to my little eyeballs so also during this sale, I renewed my Rouge membership until 2020, so that's exciting. So this is the last thing I purchased that was actually makeup related, and it is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warm Bronzer. I'm wearing it currently. So I have the shade Private Island. I'm happy that I actually saw these in person because I was going to purchase, I think it was Island Tings. No, mm -mm, not for me, sis. So I'm happy that I actually went and saw them in store. So this is what this one looks like. This is great for light to medium skin tones. I like that this one is definitely more golden opposed to orangey or red because I am more fair. Those tones tend to, you know, emphasize on my face. So I absolutely am obsessed with the texture of this, how it blends, it's amazing. So if you've not tried this, try to get your hands on it because best bronzer, hands down. So here is our receipt. 
our damage for all the products that I have just gone through it was a total of two hundred and fifty six dollars and eighty cents I saved a total of sixty dollars I'm good with that that's like two tanks of gas that's amazing and I purchased all these items on May 5th so literally the day before the sale ended Alrighty, so now we are going to move on to more makeup items. So, let me cross. So now we are going to be talking about the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealers. I have two of them. Boom. So I purchased the shades C7 and C4. So C7 is for when I am more tan, but I actually have it on today just because I didn't want to be too bright. So I'm going to swatch these for you. C7 is definitely more on the yellow side. And then C4 is definitely more on like the neutral side. So C4 was way lighter than I thought it would be. It's definitely would be more of my winter shade. So this is how they look. C7, C4. So I've been using these concealers on and off depending on what day it is, what I want my routine to be. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I use these in a quick little 60 second video of how I wear my natural makeup or my everyday makeup. And I have to say, I absolutely love this concealer formula so much. It is up there with Shape Tape because you know Shape Tape had that high ranking that no other concealer compared to it. But I have to say this one is one of the best ones, just how it blends out on the skin and how it feels like skin, but still gives you that medium to full coverage. It's amazing. So if you have not tried it or you've been, you know, kind of on the fence of trying it, I definitely recommend it. It is perfect for dressing up more of a um, sheer coverage foundation if there's more problematic areas you want to cover. And it's also good for full glam as well. So the next product I want to talk about that is in the Magic Star lineup is going to be the Magic Star Setting Powder. So here's the carton for this. I got the shade Fair. So this is how it looks. It has the logo on the top. And then this reminds me, if you guys have used Beauty Bakery's powder, it's like the same, same concept, same packaging, I believe, and everything. So you open it up, I don't want to tip it over, but it has like the holes and then it has a close and then you can twist and close it so your powder doesn't fly everywhere. It has a scent to it and it smells so good. It reminds me of the Fenty Pro Filter um, setting powder scent as well. It smells really good. It smells like candy. I also am currently wearing this. I've been obsessed with this powder. So um, Kat Von D has a setting powder. It's like the big one. I don't know what the name is called, but it's just like a translucent powder. And I loved how it made my skin feel. I just felt like it was a little too light. And I feel like this formula is comparable to it. It's, I personally think it's better than that one, which I'm really excited about. But it leaves like a nice finish on the skin. You don't look dry. You don't look powdery it literally just looks like smooth skin so just like the concealers if you have yet to try this i highly recommend it these two are my they're my new holy grails when it comes to my concealer and also my baking powder so the last two things I'm going to talk about are actually a shampoo and conditioner. Um, if you don't know, I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I have access to what we call our supply houses. But it's actually a store called Cosmoprof, so that's where we go get all of our products and everything. Since we are licensed, we get a discount on it. So this was a new brand, and it is called Maria Nilla, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. Um, I did get the travel size of these just because I wanted to try them first before I fully committed because the big bottles are like this big. And if I didn't like it, I didn't want to commit to something that was like 16 ounces. So this is 3.4 ounces, so it's perfect for travel. I got the Pure Volume Shampoo, so the Volumizing shampoo, some fun facts about it that it has on the front. It's 100% vegan, cruelty free, volumizing vitamin B, 
sulfate and paraben free color guard complex so that means it is safe for color treated hair and then it is also produced in sweden i like to switch it up so if i get a shampoo maybe i want to try a different conditioner with it so i got the structured repair conditioner so repair and conditioner Fun facts about this one, it also is 100% vegan and cruelty free, that's with this whole entire line. Repairing algae, I want to say, it has to be. Sulfate and paraben brie, paraben brie, bruh, that's how I feel right now, currently. Sulfate and paraben free, color guard safe our color guard complex and then also produced in sweden i forget the backstory on this um one of my fellow youtubers and makeup buddies nicole i will leave her little link up here she actually talked about it in one of her recent purchase videos so when i saw it in cosmoprof i was intrigued i was like if she likes it let me go check it out real quick so if you're interested to see the backstory on that you can go check out her channel for that I've really been enjoying this duo together. Typically, I use the A&G Color Safe Shampoo and then the Pravana Intense Therapy Deep Conditioner. But I've really been enjoying switching it up using these products. They make my hair feel so soft. I have really limp fine hair, so I can definitely see a difference when I'm using the volumizing shampoo and pairing it up with my volumizing products. So these next two items I did post on my Instagram story when I received them. So the first one is going to be my Louis Vuitton inspired tube top. So this is from a designer. I want to say it's pronounced T Two Swoop. T Swoop. I don't know. I'll leave little little handle up there so they actually I believe it's a he he creates outfits for Billie Eilish who I'm. Um, obsessed with so he creates everything himself he lives in florida and if you're lucky you'll see when he posts the link in his bio and you can go and purchase a bunch of dope custom things so i purchased this from him i also have a pair of socks as well and this i was so excited i'm still so excited for it so this is going to be my cara bike chain wallet how cute it is. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Oh, I was so excited when I got this. So I actually saw this featured on Hype Day. I instantly was drawn into it because I'm obsessed with small purses, small anything that can be worn. And so I went on to the website. They have a 10% off code when you sign up for their newsletter. So I got that discount and I got my little wallet too, which I'm so excited about. And look how cute the dust bag is. Like literally so cute. So the next two items are going to be clothing. I purchased these from Suella Boutique. If you do not know what that is, um, it is Heather Sanders Boutique that she has on Melrose Avenue in California. I've purchased a couple things from her shop before and I absolutely love them. I love that they're stretchy, they're comfortable, obsessed. So I've purchased these dresses before in different colors so I received the neon green and also the neon orange these are the love struck dresses so they're super stretchy they're one size I'll have an actual photo of what it looks like because me taking it out of the package it's just gonna look like a plain dress I have this dress in brown it is one of my favorites because it's just so comfortable to wear um, you don't feel hot you don't feel sticky in it it doesn't grab in weird places it's just super comfortable so i've mentioned this before in a previous video and i finally received it and it is my the rack here it is my anti-social social club summer collection so this is a hoodie that i purchased i'm obsessed with the color i love that it has anti-social social club all over it obviously i'll be wearing this more in the fall time than i will be now because it is hitting the 80s and is muggy out here in the midwest and raining may i add so this is another 
shirt I purchased from them. So it is the rainbow and then it says anti-social social club on the back. I will definitely be wearing this one this summer, probably tucked in to shorts or jeans, a little belt action. Probably the plan for that because that shirt fits extremely snug around my hips and I even got a large so I should have got an extra large but it's okay I'll just tuck it in make it work. So last but not least I received the anti-social social club flannel which I will for sure be wearing this fall and winter so this is the back I was obsessed with the back how it had the floral and the butterflies as well. This fits me it's ginormous on me and it's a medium so I'm excited to wear it with like a cute oversized t-shirt underneath with like my thigh high boots. I'm excited for all the outfits that are going to happen with that. So we are almost done. We are almost wrapped up on this video of my recent purchases. Aren't you so excited? You stuck around. You were here for most of it. Thank you. appreciate that. I really hope this video was like focused the whole time because if it wasn't I have to re-record it tomorrow. I'm feel some type of way. So the next thing I purchased, which I believe these are the only shoes I've purchased recently, which is pretty rare. Pretty rare. So are going to be new Doc Martens. These are the Blair sandals. If you have not seen Doc Martin sandals, I highly suggest you just do a quick little Google search. They're absolutely adorable. So I am on my feet often, so I need a super comfortable shoe, and these are amazing. Um, when I was in cosmetology school, that's when I purchased my first pair of Doc Martens, and they were literally amazing. Since we had to stand on concrete floors, I needed something that was going to support me and be comfortable. So I was excited to see that they had sandals. These are the Blair Vegan Leather. The inside is squishy. It's literally like the softest. These are literally the most comfortable sandals ever. If you can get your hands on these, I highly suggest it. I had to order mine from a small boutique off Amazon because everywhere was sold out of my size. I am a six and a half. I decided to get a seven just because I was scared that it was going to be too narrow. My foot is pretty wide. Um, and I wish I actually would have gotten my size or a six in these, but it's okay. They still are super comfortable. They're just a little big, but I would definitely say stick to true to size or a size down in these, but definitely recommend these for your summertime wardrobe and working life. So the next thing I purchased is my iPhone 10s Max in gold front back. So what happened was I was leaving work one day, heading to my car, and my phone just decided it was gonna fly out of my hand. Okay, we're in a parking lot with lots of gravel, not even gravel, you know, parking lot stuff. And my, you know, being, being the graceful person I am with my cat-like reflexes, decided I was going to kick my phone to try to save it to, I don't know what my thought process was, thinking I would cushion the fall or something. No, I then punt it even further and the screen is just completely shattered. I don't have a picture of it. I was so sad. I felt like such a bum because I had a shattered screen. So in all my Caitlyn glory, I was like, we're just getting a new phone. It's fine. It's totally fine. So I did go to Apple the next day and I purchased a new phone because I couldn't have a broken screen. But, shout out to Apple, because they still gave me $95 for my broken screen. Thank you. The last thing I recently purchased was my date piercing. That's in my ear, can you see it? Oh, it's right there, that really hurts, it's still feeling. So I am a sufferer of migraines, I get a Close to five a month, probably, I would say. Um, they're definitely hormonal and weather causing migraines. So anytime we get rain, anytime I'm about to, you know, be on my period, I get a migraine. So I got this last week and we've had some rain. It's definitely, you know, changing of seasons. And I did get a migraine, a small one yesterday, but it wasn't as intense as it usually is when the weather is like a thunderstorm out. So I'm hoping to see improvements of that with this small little piercing. 
I think they say that if you get both, you see more results. So if it's something that continues and I'm not seeing the results I want, I will probably definitely go ahead and pierce the other one. But shout out SkinCraft in Cincinnati, Ohio. They are right down the street from me. Um, my piercer was amazing. He walked me through the whole process. Um, which was nice. I was kind of scared at first just because I tend to hype myself up in my head and anticipate the pain. So once he was talking to me about what he was doing, he had me inhale and then exhale and he put the needle through. It was a done deal. It didn't even hurt at all. It was nothing uncomfortable, no weird pain, no sharp pain. So if you are a sufferer of migraines or even just like the aesthetic of a date, I highly recommend it. It is super cute. I love that it's a small accent in my ear just because I often don't wear earrings because I am allergic to some metals. I'm just a sensitive creature. It's fine. So that is it for my recent purchase video. I hope you guys enjoy this. You enjoyed seeing what I've kind of been interested in lately. And in case, you know, you're on the fence about anything, I hope this answered some questions and have you wanting to try new things that you haven't before. As always, I thank you guys for supporting me, coming back and watching every video, supporting my YouTube journey in this crazy road of trying to figure out what's the best day to record and to edit. We're still on that. We're still on it. But I'm I'm on one video a week. That's good because it's life's been a little crazy. So I do thank you guys for being patient with me as I'm still trying to figure out a schedule. There just will never be a schedule. Just look for a video once a week. <laughs> once a week it's fine. <laughs> so thank you guys as always and I will see you next time. Bye. So it does come with a clear splat spatula. So it has a spatula that has a magnet on the back. So it. Okay, that's all of that. Moving on up, moving on up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's all I got for you.